and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Photoshop plugin Infinite Color. Now I have a video that I'll link above where I talk about Infinite Color and what it is and their primary color grading tool, which is right here, Infinite Color. Now in today's video, I want to talk to you about a second option that's available in this color suite, and that is the Harmony option. Now the Harmony option is where you get to work with the colors in your image, working with complementary colors and colors on the color wheel that are side by side. So it is a great way to tweak colors using this incredibly powerful tool. So we're going to jump in and play with this image to see how it works. But first, please take a minute to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you use Infinite Color, send me a note. Let me know in the comments if you like it, how you use it. And if not, let me know that it's new to you. And I'd love to hear if you try the program out. So I will also place in the comments the link to Infinite Color. This is a program that you have to purchase, but I think it's well worth the money. Okay, so let's focus on the option for Harmony. So Harmony is where we're going to start with this little button down here that has two dots. We're going to click the Create button. This is going to pop up the color picker. And from here, we can act, actually select a color in the color grid, or we can select from our image. So my idea for this image is to add a little bit more of the darker tones and really bring those out kind of this darker magenta color. So I'm going to come in and just play with finding some of those colors and maybe get it a little, little more burgundy, kind of that deep wine color. I'm going to click OK. And now what happens is it has picked a, it's done this infinite harmony group. And if we open that up, we're going to see a gradient map. So what this Harmony option does is it builds a gradient map for us. I'm going to double click on it and it will open up in the properties panel. So we can see we have the color we selected and we have an opposite color, a complementary color on the color wheel. And so that's what it's done for us. So if we look at before and after, it's just added that in a nice gradient map. Now there's some options here where we can use the shift option to emphasize the shadows more, which is actually emphasizing the highlights. When we move it over, it's shrinking the shadows and emphasizing the green tones, or we can bring it over and emphasize this burgundy color, which is really what I was going for with this image. So you can see how that works. Now we can also keep it in the middle for a balance. Now the there's a couple other tricks to this harmony option. First is you'll notice the blend mode is soft light. There's an S right here. We can also flip the blend mode to color. So you can see we can flip between the two and it does change the look. We also can modify the opacity. So it's going to start at 25%, but we could increase that if we wanted to or needed to for some reason. I'm going to go ahead and keep it around that 25% range. Now a couple other things to note. You can reverse your gradient map down here with the reverse option. You can also try different color tones clicking this rotation, you know, circle through the option menu. So let's click on that and we can see it's going to give us different shades within the range that we had selected. So that's kind of pretty. This is a softer view and it's just going through and changing it up. Wow, that looks like spring, doesn't it? So it's a fun way to try different color options and really play around to see what you get and what you like. So I'm going to take it back. Here's back to the beginning where we were when we started. Okay, now if you decided that you really didn't like, I'm going to go ahead and reverse it back. You didn't really like that burgundy color. You can come in and modify by clicking on your gradient map. You can modify here, but we can also go back to the create and we can change. So I could come in and decide I want to pick this softer color and click OK. And now it's completely changed my gradient map. It's giving me this soft pink and it's taking it over to a light green. And I can decide if again if I want that on soft light or color. I think usually soft light works the best but you do have those options. 
Now, the second option here, you'll notice this circle with three dots. This is going to give us three colors side by side on the color wheel. So let's select, let's select that. And you'll notice that now we've got pink, peach, and the lighter pink. So it's giving us three shades. Again, if I want to change the color, click on Create. And again, I could come over and let's select something a little bit darker. And it's, let's see if we can select something maybe in this range. That deep purple, click OK. And now look how our gradient map has changed. It's giving us a totally different look. And I can modify that if I want, bringing down. And what's great about this is it's really impacting the highlights and the shadows. And because I selected this burgundy color, it's really not impacting the green in my image or the center of the flowers, which I really like. Now that's the option where it's doing three colors side by side from the color wheel. The next option is three dots, and this is going to do complementary colors. So it's going to be colors opposite the color wheel. So this is bringing in some nice blues, some green yellow tones, and that dark burgundy. Again, I can cycle through. Look how different that is. Now this is using a gradient map. So again, we can shift to highlight one area, the shadows or the highlights. I can continue to cycle through to get different looks and different tones. And then I can go back to kind of where I started. And I can always decide to click Create again and go select a color. So I can come and select this light color and start over again. So it's so easy to play and manage um, and work through these options. Now the next button does four colors and these are gonna be opposite on the color wheel. So you can see it's bringing in a little bit more of some different colors for us. And then number five is gonna be five colors. And again, let's rotate through so we can see some difference here. So look, it's bringing all these colors into this image, which is a little much, but there could be times that you wanna use that option. I'm gonna go back to the three and let's just kind of rotate through and see if we get something we like. Now remember, you can reduce that opacity. You can also always go to your mask and if you wanted to remove some of it, off maybe parts of the flowers, you could do that. Now this color grading tool works fantastic on all types of images. A lot of portrait wedding photographers use color grading. I like to use it with images where I have a lot of color, a lot of beautiful light. You can also use it with landscape images, variety of images to add some color. So let's play with this image real quick. And what I'm going to do is click Create, and I wanna add some orange tones to this image. So I'm gonna come in and just select some orange. I love kind of orange and green. I'm going to click OK, and now we're gonna click the double here. I'm gonna to go to the gradient map, and We've got that color selected. I'm gonna make sure I go to soft light and I want to emphasize the highlights in the image. So I'm gonna bring this over. Let's bring it over this way so we really have that emphasized. And I'm gonna increase the details here. All right, so let's see before And after, look at those tones. So we're seeing that kind of orange color come through. Now I could rotate through to see what else this is gonna give me. There's some pink tones, a little bit darker there. Ooh, that one's kind of interesting. I'm liking that green. Now let's play with the shift here to see what happens as we move it. So now you can see we're getting those orange kind of warm tones down in that area. So a little bit different. We could also go to the triad here. And look how that's bringing in the blues. And again, we can rotate through to get some different looks. So that one's nice. So just look at before and after. It's very subtle. Color grading should be very soft, very subtle, unless you're doing something drastic, just to give a little pop to your image and bringing out some tones and colors. You can just kind of funnel through. That one's nice as well. Just some brightness here. And we could kind of shift those um, colors depending on what you're looking for. So infinite color is a great option if you're wanting to really master color grading, make it easy and play with colors that are complementary 
um, in the color wheel. So I have the other video linked above if you want to play with the actual color feature. This video was all about harmony. I hope you enjoyed it. Send me some notes if you're using infinite color, and I look forward to um, seeing your comments. Thanks, everybody.